And we're waiting for a final go ahead. Two teams after a seven week preseason, they are itching to rip in. Kick off to the biggest and best NRLW year yet, season six. You'll see every minute on Fox League. Enjoy the next 11 weeks as the women go at it. And it's the Gold Coast Titans with first use of the footy. Jessica Elliston, first run of the competition and an early shift out towards an edge where the Cowboys defense is waiting. What a day for North Queensland. So much hard work has gone in over so many years. Ben Jeffries, the coach, outlining that since his arrival in 2015. They didn't even have a women's comp. Now they've got an NRLW team. As Gold Coast get through their opening set. Let's tackle four, 10 shy of halfway. And they'll complete now Kiria Ratu. This young debutante down towards the England Lioness, Fran Goldthorpe. Welcome to North Queensland. Welcome to Australia. Yeah, quite the contrast, wasn't it, from the north of England over to two Townsville. But terrific set to start their season from the Titans. Nice and hard direct through their middle forwards. Georgia Hales, we see a nice run here from the Cowboys. Georgia Hale, Martor, and also Elliston. Really good start for Ratu. Strong run, Mia Middleton, wayward out of dummy half. Emma Manzelman didn't find the mark. Plenty of changes late in the week for Ben Jeffries compared to the team he named on Tuesday. And here's Raf Strand smith passing at the line. Her experience will be crucial. Mackenzie Wheel out there in Jersey 13. Stopped eight short of halfway. Of course, these teams played a trial not too long ago as Kira Dibb completes the Cowboys' first set in NRLW and onto it quickly at the back. Ivania Paliti will be a threat for North Queensland. She takes a strong tackle early. That trial, Joe Barrett, won by the Titans 30 to 6, but you're not so sure the scoreline reflects how that game unfolded. Yeah, it, absolutely, Matty. The thing with the trial, we know that sometimes, you know, you don't play all your cards at that, but what I can recall very clearly from that trial is the Cowboys came out hard, they came out tough, and they scored first. And while it might look like there was a blowout and it was a convincing win by the Titans, there's still plenty of promise in that North Queensland side. And I think, too, for the Titans, there was areas of improvement there. So I think that scoreline could be a bit different this afternoon. Yeah, first penalty going in the way of the Titans, and we'll get a real good look after this set down this left-hand side. So much strike over the pre-season. They've been able to recruit down this left-hand side. Fui Maiono, Shaley Benton, also Chapman. It was the run by Chapman catching North Queensland a little too enthusiastic offside, and as a result, Gold Coast go straight on the attack. Here's Lauren Brown out of dummy half trying to open up a corridor for her winger, Destiny Minos, in a party, who will do, they do well to stay in field. Trying to pull strong in the tackle. Gold Coast get through the play of the ball. And here's Elliston again. Her fifth season of NRLW. Experience down the middle for Karen Murphy. Now Kiriaratu holds the ball. They're close here, Gold Coast. Wouldn't they love the first try of the season in the first few minutes? Brown goes flat and short. Elliston loses the ball. The pass was forward and Gold Coast blow their opportunity. Well, that was a frustrating passage of play there to watch. I thought for sure Jess Elliston would be in. She's not characteristically one to drop the ball, but when you're going fast, you're under pressure and you get white line fever, sometimes those things happen. Yeah, really good signs for the Titans early and the Cowboys to hold off the Titans in their first real chance defensively. But for the Titans to see Lauren Brown back in the nine jersey. Tried a hand last year in the halfback, just didn't quite work as we see now an error coming out of their own end for the Cowboys. Emma Manzelman knocking on at dummy half, inviting more trouble. Only 10 metres out from the line. It was Sarika Mooka playing the ball and Emma without the clean pickup. So they're in perfect position here, the Titans now. You can just see now the Titans just going through a couple of set plays, centre field scrum, so much strike, particularly on this left-hand side, Ivania Politi and Chapman. Look for that little combination. Heads in, clock off, ball in, stay there. Do they go straight to the left here? No, it's to the right first. 
Thui Mayono, Kiria Ratu looking for Bass. The ball was out in front of her. She knocks on. So both teams with some stage fright early, some early jitters. Yeah, disappointing. I know there was a lot of criticism in the women's first state of origin about too many errors. It's a little bit stressful to see a couple of handling errors early, but it would be a little bit about nerves. It would also yeah. be a little bit about getting used to new players and your running lines, and you can do that at training all pre-season, but it's nothing like running at an opposition in a stadium. Like right this. In. Okay. Off. Right in, Across both teams today, in, there are ten right. NRLW debutants, the majority in the North Queensland lineup. So let's see them try and get out of their danger zone here. That's a strong start to the set. A run finishing just shy of the 20 metre line. Mooka again. It's a good carry from Mooka. Just one of those debutants. She's been an Indigenous All-Star, a Prime Minister's 13 team member, and she draws a penalty here. On the mark, that strip. It injected into the starting lineup for Ben Jeffries this afternoon, Mooka, and you can see why. Rolls the sleeves up, coming out her own end, gets the penalty. Kira Dib now taking the kick for touch, trying to get themselves out of their own end. Been camped down here for a number of minutes now. Conditions are quite warm. Sarika Mooka, a product of the Cairns junior system and so good to see the footprint of NRLW expanding to incorporate this season the likes of Canberra and Cronulla. West Tigers joining the Cowboys as debutantes. We grow from six to ten teams in this 11-week competition finishing on NRL Grand Final Day, which is now also NRLW Grand Final Day. Mooka again over halfway, taking the tackle from Brown. Bent is there to finish her off. Crystal Blackwell playing 5'8 in that 14 jumper. Coming in for Tallulah Tillett out with that injured hand. And here's an opening. Manzelman straight through. Past the 10 metre line. The first try of NRLW 23 goes to the new team. The Cowboys. Emma Manzelman burns them with speed. She had a rough start, but what a highlight. Emma Manzelman, the first try scorer, NRLW 23. You can see there Manzelman out acting half. Lauren Brown caught just to the side of the ruck and some feeble defence. And Manzelman, some fleet foot and some speed to back it up, was recruited to the North Queensland Cowboys from a premiership winning team of being the Knights. And Manzelman straight away, you mentioned she had an error early. She brushed that aside, threw some really good defenders there and just the acceleration. Some footwork come to Vani Politi at the back. And what a try, what a strike from Emma Manzelman. Well, I can't think of a better person to be the first try scorer for the North Queensland Cowboys. A very proud Mackay product. Manzelman's come through the system, had some great experience with the Knights last year, was one of the first signings for Ben Jeffries. And despite a little error earlier in the game, she stood up and does what she does well. She looks for opportunity. She's fit. She's fast. She's strong. She's making, incre making an incredible difference out there. And she's got the Cowboys in front early. Part of the Newcastle Premiership outfit last season. Now, a Queensland origin representative as well. Kira Dibb adds the extras. Lara Pitt, this is a dream start for North Queensland. Yeah, absolutely. And wasn't Emma Manzelman a standout in that night's premiership win? She was the pocket rocket we were all talking about coming off the bench and played a key role in them lifting the trophy. But it was, as you said, Joe, their inaugural signing for the Cowboys, a, a local product coming home. And that is something that Ben Jeffries is really big on. So she goes from the Walkerston Wanderers at under sevens to being the very first try scorer in North Lauren. Queensland Cowboys history. It's a great story, isn't it, Lara? At just 21 years of age, contracted at the Cowboys until 2025 at least. So first signed Stay and on. a long-term signing. She's back home and right now she's scored the Cowboys' first ever NRLW try. Stay tuned for many such stories in coming weeks. The Gold Coast kickoff allowed to bounce. And awkwardly retrieved, it must be said, by the Cowboys after that big beginning. Ben Jeffrey speaking this week, said we might not have the best team on paper, but you don't win games on paper. No, you don't. And they turned up here this afternoon. They repelled the attack early from the Titans. They rolled the sleeves up, gone down the other end and come up with some points. Now Dib goes for Shania Power, one of the former Gold Coast players in this North Queensland team, along with Tiana Rathstrand-Smith and Jasmine Peters in the centres. 
through the middle again. It's Mackenzie Wheel, another of the Knights Premiership winners to move north this season. And Deb, 10 metres her own side of halfway, drives it long. Kira's kicking game, a real feature of her play. It goes down for Paliti. Big, strong fullback. She powers beyond her 30 metre line. Yeah, outstanding kick, wasn't it, from Kira Deb to get him out of trouble. Already in this game, she looked like she had an opportunity or a shot for a 40 30. This is Niall Williams Guthrie, background in rugby union. Gold Coast worked their way into Cowboys territory now. Four tackles down and late in the set. Belinda Sharp gives the home team a penalty. That's a big whistle. They were under a bit of pressure there, the Titans. Yeah, it was through. Shana Mato, terrific front row forward in, in the NRLW at the moment. Averages up around 130 run metres, rolls her sleeves up, gets between two defenders, and Georgia Hale just a little bit high there. So they're in the red zone here, Lauren Brown. Running the ball. Kiri Aratu sends it to her left. First on the ball, Shannon Martor. Numbers left, Maddie. Lauren Brown knows it. A long ball. Fui Mayono. Now Paliti, long. Destiny Minos in a party. The scramble from the Cowboys is fantastic. They number up. They drive the Gold Coast winger Brilliant. into touch. Brilliant sliding, scrambling defence. Minor in a party had nowhere to go. Yeah, they come out to this left hand side through Minor in a party. They probably could have gone through the hands and got the job done, but the Cowboys' desperation. China Pallada comes across to hold up in a party, and then the teammates just follow. That is terrific goal line defence. Yeah, fantastic effort by the Cowboys, and it speaks volumes to their attitude and to the fact that they have absolutely let go of the scoreline from the trial match, and they've turned up here to really put a stamp on the game. The Titans need to be patient now and not lose hope. Last year they would do really well, in, but they weren't consistent with completing their set, so if they can get in and defend, they can still be in the game. Seeing a lot of space early, the Titans, and sometimes you just get a habit of going to that space a little bit before you earn it. They need to really go square down the field, really get some inside shoulders. That message, no doubt, going out from coach Karen Murphy. Ben Jeffries again this week saying we want to put the coast under pressure. Well, they're doing that. Yeah. A bit of scoreboard pressure, but also defensive pressure, and here it breaks down the ball into touch. I've got loose carry. Yeah. Noel Williams Guthrie come in with some heavy you contact. You? I've got knock on you guys. Loose carry. Maddie you spoke before Niall comes it. from an incredible rugby union background. She's won Olympic medals, Maddie. Commonwealth medals, professional athlete. Got to, got come over to the Gold Coast. The Cowboys. On field decision is knock on. And has been playing rugby league and doing really well away from a husband and her two kids. In the trial match, she stood up and did some terrific defence. Very similar to her Kira approach Dib there before. Kira is passing the ball. We'll see here in the replay. Gold Coast. The challenge by North Queensland She seems to have gone successful. a little bit too hard on this one. And they're going to hold their challenge. It's a good challenge. The ball off. Williams Guthrie. So it will stay with Kira hey. Dibbs. North Queensland Cowboys, okay. these players are out the to forge their own story, right? their own reputation, but Niall yes. Williams Guthrie has a famous brother in Sunny Bill, a twin sister as well. We're looking forward to Niall, aged in her mid-30s, yes. come to the NRLW for the first time. And it's a really good point you make, Joe. I mean, these women, whilst there's some new teams in the competition, they give up everything, they move away, they have families, they have children, they have jobs. Just over here. As Williams Guthrie makes her way to the sideline. That's a huge blow if she's unable to come back in okay. for Karen Murphy and the Titans. Wait on. Hit injury assessment for the Gold Coast Centre. Let's go. Bring her on. So you've learned we have a captain's challenge in NRLW. 35-minute halves, 10 interchanges, not the eight. Is she on? A 30-40 yeah, in play go. and a 20-50. So slight variations on the NRL rules. We do have golden point. There's no set restart though, a penalty each time. You won't hear that siren and the set restart call. Play the ball. A bunker, injury surveillance, the shot clocks, all the normal rules apply. 
nearly 13 minutes into this game. Dib, flat ball for Rafstrand Smith, more than flat, it's forward. Well, that's a welcome change for the Titans. They were, I was getting a little bit worried there for them, but equally the Cowboys were looking strong, but this is an opportunity now. The Titans really need to focus on what's in front of them, yeah. complete their sets, not worry about the change with Niall being off the field and really start taking control of this game. Yeah, you're spot on. They just need to take a real deep breath here in front of their home fans. It's obviously a big occasion for both teams, but for the Titans, just a little bit frantic early. Only three completed sets for the game out of six. Completing at 50% is now Polite. Joins in. Chapman outside her. She got through the tackle of Rafstrand Smith. But then the reinforcements arrived to stop the dangerous Vanya Politi in her fourth NRLW season. So they'll go through the middle. Shaley Bent. Four years at St George Illawarra before Shaley joined the Titans. Much better. Brown. Accompanied by Shannon Martor. Australian World Cup finalist, experienced now with Queensland as well, Shannon Martel. Hail, bursting through. Rafstrand Smith takes a great tackle. A try saver, Emma Manzelman it was. The long ball intercepted. Has it been gathered cleanly here? It has. Play on the call. Huge from China Pallada. Huge from Emma Manzelman. Yeah, once again, the Cowboys standing tall defensively. Some desperation from Manzelman, and then there, Ch China Pallada just put, parking herself between the winger and the centre. Terrific positional play. Does she drop that? Does she drop that, Maddie? I say yes. I don't know whether she had control by the time the no. round helped her hold the ball. The plan was the ruling. Fantastic effort by China. She debuted for the Queensland Origin team this year and she came into the group. She's so athletic, she's very skilled. That doesn't shock me that she's gone for that intercept and I think her confidence has certainly grown from that rep experience and you can see it here today. Numbers there momentarily for the Cowboys. The kick came from Bree Chester. It goes into touch but through the hands you wonder what happens down that right side for North Queensland. Yeah, wrong call there from Bree Chester. Just a rush of blood. You mentioned they had them on the back foot and she's opted to go the kick. Just would have had to have found China Pilato, who's got a clean set of heels with no one in front of her. It's been a lively start from the Cowboys. We spoke to the coach, Ben Jeffries, before the game and he wanted his team to just turn up defensively. Keep going, keep going. And really put it in for one another. And they're certainly doing that in the opening stages. It's Caitlin Phillips called into the game day 17. At the expense of Haley J. Orman Maunsell. Shannon Martor again, look at the leg drive. Gold Coast with three NRLW debutantes, four recruits from other clubs who have origin experience. Add to that the eight players who've been with Gold Coast since day one. So entering their third season, they've recruited really nicely. They've got experience and Joe, I'm sure you'd agree they're one of the teams who would have designs on this title this season. Absolutely. I think every team in the competition ultimately wants to win a premiership, but it's no secret that the Titans have recruited a little bit differently to last year. They've had a longer pre-season. Karen Murphy's a little bit more settled in her role. And, you know, with a bit of self-belief and the right approach, they have as much potential as any other team to take this premiership. All a little scrappy, sorry, Joe. Mia Middleton knocking the ball on after she was forced to middle. retrieve a loose ball. So the Cowboys, after such a bright start, scoring the first try, applying pressure to the Titans, Corey, maybe needing to settle a little now midway through this first half. Yeah, well, the Titans get a really good opportunity. They completed their last set. You mentioned about their lack of inability to do that. If they're able to complete and set up camp down in this area, at some stage, they're going to cross. They've got too much strike. We may own it for Chapman who hits a hole and is held by the coattails. Another desperate defensive effort, this time Jasmine Peters on her opposite centre. Brown for Ralph Strand Smith. She steps away from Manzelman and is held by Mackenzie Wheel walking away to the goal line. She drags in four defenders. Talisha Harden among them. 
Fui Maiano for Chapman. Now outside. Destiny Minor Sinapati reaches out. The Titans are on the board. Chapman for Minor Sinapati. And this vaunted left edge does strike. Well, they've been flirting with the left hand side all game. And this time they get an opportunity. Chapman's broke them over. Only moments ago, it was a terrific tackle. They double up, they come down this left hand side. Phil Mayona, Mayona out to Chapman, then off the left foot. Minor Sinapati in her debut game in the NRLW. We got a taste only a couple of weeks ago in the women's under 19s for Queensland. And now on the big stage in the NRLW, you can see there the elation on her face will hang on, Matty. Decisions under Belinda review, Sharp. potential obstruction. Matt Noyan in the bunker. He's about to look for obstruction in this try. The try score of the Queensland the successful line. under Crystal 19. Crystal from North Queensland is denied the opportunity by the, by the Titans player running behind her own player. We have a decision. So Jamie Chapman, the player who passed the ball then doesn't run through the line. Well, there's been a rule that they've been consistent with for a while now. However, okay. every so often, Maddie, there's one that just sneaks through. <laughs> Thank you. Not today. Yep. But again, I, you just get a real Family indication that left side dominant team for the <laughs> Titans. When they're able to get Penalty. it right and when that combination clicks, they'll be very, very okay, dangerous. On. Stay on. Stay on. The goal line defence in particular from the Cowboys in this first half has been Excellent. It's been so exciting. They've just come out of nowhere. That's desperation and attitude. Ben spoke in the interview earlier about effort on effort, and that's exactly what you're seeing from those girls, particularly when they're under pressure. They're not worrying about who's in front of them. Equally, the Titans need to maintain pressure as well because they've certainly got the potential there to put points on. Great to have the voices of Corey Parker, Joe Barrett in commentary, both representing Queensland and Australia proudly. And watching game one of 48 this season in the expanded NRLW. From six to ten teams every game on Fox League, every weekend. From now until grand final day, power gets the ball away. The Cowboys trapped on this left-hand side of the ground through Mia Middleton. Providing a real handful out on this left-hand side, power. Move to a wing despite wearing four to accommodate Shelley Long into the starting lineup. Middleton. As the Cowboys work their way back towards the middle of the ground and take tackle five here. So Manzelman finds Dib. He goes off the boot. A wobbly bomb down for Politi to catch on her own goal line. And Politi is trapped in a 10, but a penalty again will invite them out of trouble. Yeah. Straight away, Vania Politi looking to do the quick tap and a relieving penalty again. They're just unable to, to hold the foot on the throat. The Cowboys, they're just lifting and easing them out of their own end. They're still yet, the Cowboys, although they're dominating this game in all facets, still yet to have a tackle inside 20. Joe, interesting move to tap and go from within your own 10 rather than kicking to the sideline. Yeah, I'm not sure what was behind that, but I guess they're just backing that they can get their middles to do some Lauren work. Lauren Brown through the middle, still going. Watched by her NRL colleagues, Lofi Khan Pereira, a try scorer this season. David Vafita, game 100 this afternoon. Chapman, Chapman couldn't get away from Pallada, but her pass does out towards Minor Sinapati. Sure, the NRL players will be excited by the conditions they confront here. But the Titans are not confronted, not excited about this. A penalty in the play the ball, or a mistake in the play the ball, I should mention. They have done their homework out on this right edge. The Cowboys, China Pallada come up with a really big tackle on Chapman. And uh, Minor Setapati just plants a ball, makes a meal of it getting up. A couple of really good defensive reads there from China. And the message at half time for Karen Murphy and Titans will be very, very simple. Completing five from 11 at 45%. Larry, you've got beautiful condition sideline. 
Absolutely, and Maddie, just an update. Niall Williams Guthrie is passed her HIA and has recovered from what looked like a knee injury. She'll be back in about five minutes. Exciting news for the Titans. Get their starting centre back out there. Silver medalist, Rio Olympics, gold medalist. Gold Coast Commonwealth Games. There's a Rugby Sevens exponent. It's wonderful to see Niall and Ravani Politi actually join the same team for a change. They've played a lot of international rugby against each other, so I know that that's been a wonderful combination that they've enjoyed having at the end, towards the end of their careers. Big run by Talisha Harden, you're right, Corey. Good defence from the Titans. North Queensland reach tackle five. Here's Dib again. This time it floats across the ground. Out towards Minos in the park. Oh, oh, oh. It's crunched. China Palata puts a shoulder to work. That's the sort of contact you'll see all season in NRLW. Had absolutely no intention of going up for the ball, China Palata. The Tongan International has just waited for <laughs> Mino Sitapati to catch the ball and has given her almighty what up through the ribs. Mino Sitapati, did she get a toenail back on the grass? Because if she did, the timing from China Palata was perfect. Caitlin Phillips. Oh, Joe, don't you miss playing when you watch contact <laughs> oh, like well, that? Well, sometimes I, I ended my career in the centres. Here's Pauliti stepping back against the grain, getting the ball away for Phillips. She passes, and here's Hancock through the middle. Still playing all these years on. Here's a problem in back play for Chapman. Looks like there might be a knee injury. If they're looking to go left, she's not in the centre position. Brown for Hancock, she's a try scorer now, Steph, an offloader as well. Brown for Imaiono, now bent, Minnos in the party! Crunched a moment ago, but she's fit and healthy, and she's in, in the corner. So she celebrates for the second time, but it's her first try for this afternoon. You can see Steph Hancock lifts her off the ground. The Titans have finally got four points, thanks to Destiny Minos in a party, the young debutante out on the left wing. And it was the injection of the older statesman, Steph Hancock, 41 years young, only knows one way, created some space, got the offload after enormous amounts of defense. Pallada unable to hold on there in center party. She's been over a few times, matey. This time, they will not take it off her. Well, they're calling it Superhero Saturday and Minor Sinner Party to take a shot like she did, bounce back to her feet and be in position to score, shake her hand as a Titan Superhero, Steph Hancock. But I said still playing all these years on, Joe. Her international debut came in 2003. 2023. Correct. She's still providing for the Titans. She scored the first try in the trial. She got frustrated with all the things that were going wrong and said to me, she came off the bench and said, I just said, give me the ball, I'll take it over. Um, so, you know, Steph's been able to evolve as a player, but equally keep the things that count in this game, whether you're playing out in the backyard or here on a stage like this. And fantastic effort there. And, and full credit, as you mentioned, Destiny took the biggest hit of the game so far and moments later is able to get up and score a try. Wonderful work. Brown can't add the extras, so 6-4 Lara in favour of the Cowboys. Always great stories behind these players and Mino Sinapati, no different. 18-year-old and is an electrical apprentice uh, on the side here. She grew up playing basketball uh, and has only been playing rugby league for two years, so still very much knows she's learning the game and wants to work towards honing her craft as a fullback one day. Steph Hancock are serving police officer, so crooks beware if Steph's on duty. <laughs> Think otherwise, behave yourself, because Hancock's coming for you. But Destiny Minor Sinner Party on debut. What a year it's been for her, the teenager. What about Queensland the origin yeah, win and now a try in NRLW, Corey? What about the shot she endured from China Palata only moments ago? We'll see plenty of them this season in the NRLW, but Stay on side, you don't always see them in the back. You don't always expect them as a winger. So, you know, if they ever needed to come in as a prop, we know she can cop it. Stay on! Dib with the restart. Through the air, it was awkward spinning. Low, and Fui Mayono goes to Hancock. When people talk to us, Joe, they often say, boy, 
don't the women give it to each other? The physicality blows a lot of uh, first-time viewers away. And is it something that females really pride themselves on? Absolutely. And it's something that's always been a bit of a battleground since the pioneering days where people would question you and say, surely it's not contact. At least we don't get those questions now. People are still quite astounded at the physicality. But at the end of the day, it's rugby league. And the people who play it, play it for a reason. They play it for the contact, and they love it. Just starting to find their groove now, the Titans. Roll the sleeves up, some wonderful play through the middle. Brown directing traffic out of dummy half. Rastran Smith, Bui Mayano, Waywood and Bent. He's forced to dive back on the ball, but after a knock-on, according to Belinda Sharp. Corey, that's your fault. <laughs> they rolled up the field beautifully. Yeah, Steph Hancock, Shaley Bent. They come out of this right-hand side. Kiraratu played back on the inside, got some ruck speed, and they went out to the left where there was some space. And you're right, Matty, the timing, the combination's just not quite there at the moment. We're done here. Right in. Lara Pitt, Corey Parker, set up. the scene for the NRLW game. Gold Coast Titans, Sydney Roosters, I reckon both teams their eyes light up when they look at the conditions here this afternoon. Warm, sunny, dry, fast, hard track. Should be a great afternoon on Fox League. As the Cowboys. Oh, again, wow. feel some physicality <laughs> here. Shots going both Martor. ways. That one from Shannon Martor. She has been outstanding for the time, Shannon Martor. Defensively, very, very good. Really trying to impose herself. Shelly Long. Feeling it all. <laughs> Here it did. You want to see the replay? Oh, oh it's Corey. terrific. <laughs> That's what we're going to get. Five games each round, every weekend. Isn't this some footy to watch on Fox League? So the Cowboys. Narrow leaders with eight and a half left. Dib kicking out towards the wing at Bass, who couldn't get a clean grab at the ball. And then the ball goes the in the touch. Yep. Play the ball. Yep, where do you want it? It hasn't had much ball in this first half for obvious reason. Dara. Emily Dara. Bass has been uh, mainly out to that left-hand side for the Titans. Play the ball. Another one of those recruits that Karen Murphy no. identified coming across from the Brisbane Broncos along with Chapman. Just play the ball, girls. And they join Talia Fui Mayano and Shaley Bent from St George Illawarra, all of them playing Origin, so for really good recruits to add to a very solid base. Absolutely. It did make a little bit of change. I think a lot of clubs went through this when Origin was on. Players coming in and out of camp at the start of pre-season. Here's a chance for the Cowboys. They're really close here. Strong and powerful close to line, April. They play the crash play again. Harden denied, so they go for some with Dib, dummying, stepping and diving. Kira Dib backing up the work from her forwards. And Kira extends North Queensland's lead. Well, limited ball down the ascent for the Cowboys. This time Kira Dib brought to the club, as we spoke about in the pregame for her experience, premiership winner, terrific kicker of the ball, patient with what she does with ball in hand, but when there's an opportunity, as we see here, bang, off the left foot. The young rookie in Kiraratu just going across too far there in the experience of Kira Dib, who's been terrific in this first half for the Decisions Cowboys. Under review, looking at obstruction. Well, from first glance, Matty, I didn't see any obstruction at all. As we have a look here, it's at April at the right on the line there, takes out Georgia Hale. Maybe there is something. We're just looking at the run of number 18, Sarah Coroy. She runs and takes out the Gold Coast player on the goal line. Well, that's the space that Kira Dib does. Kira Dib through. then steps back inside. We have an obstruction. Yeah, that's the right call. That's the right call. I missed it from first glance, but Kira Dib, they don't come often anymore the older you get. Yeah, look, disappointing for the Cowboys, but I agree with you there, Corey. It's a right call. We've had two disallowed tries yeah. for obstruction in one half of Penalty football for an obstruction. this afternoon. The Titans are let off the hook. They need to learn from this because the moment the Cowboys got down there and had a bit of space, as much as there was an obstruction, they still 
were really on the attack and doing well. So they need to turn this around now and really make an effort to go into half time and in the lead. Ben Jeffrey signaling there, get through the line it seemed as he waved that hand, get through the line. Sela Kerroy tried to, it must be said, but collided with a defender who could have got involved. You're right, Corey. Easy, right decision. Now, the first aim here for Emily Bass and the Titans should be to complete the set. They are 6 of 14. 43% completion Awful. so far. And last year, the only game they won, they had completions above 75%. The rest of the games, the losses were all below that mark. And today so far, they are well below. 75 quite obviously. Yeah, Brittany Braley Nardi now on for Lauren Brown in acting half. She brings some spark. Take it back, tackle two. She captained Gold Coast across their first couple of seasons. The vice now to Georgia Hale. Felicia, let up now. Get straight. So three tackles down. And there's the current captain playing the ball. Hancock. You hear the contact as the defence races in. Still there with some leg drive forward. Go through the middle. Braley Narty. 32-year-old Mackay Magpie. The kick from Shante Kiriaratu. High, it's dropped by the Cowboys. And it falls for the Titans. They're in. The kick works. And Gold Coast will go to the lead here. It is through one of their new recruits out on the right-hand side. Joe, you only spoke about her moments ago and what she was able to do in the trial match this time here. Just gets a little bounce. Williams Guthrie is a terrific little kick there from Kiriratu. And the Cowboys players, the communication wasn't quite there. Went off for a HIA, come back onto the end of the field. And after a matter of minutes has come up with their second try against all run of play. Everything has been in regards and towards the Cowboys. Fantastic effort there for Niall. I mentioned it earlier, she's done the hard yards, moved over from New Zealand, hasn't seen her children in something like two months after only a short stint um, from coming back from playing rugby in France. So to have her husband and children here to witness this, so wonderful for the family and, and fantastic for the Titans just before half time. Absolutely, she was all determination to reef that ball free from Fran Goldthorpe. She made it her own, she wanted to be a try scorer on opening day of NRLW 23. The opening game, in fact, well done, Niall Williams Guthrie on debut as a 35 year old in this fantastic competition. So, from out near the sideline, Shante Kiriaratu. Can't Potential add the on. extras. In fact, she took the kick as Belinda Sharp was signalling that the decision is under review. We could have a problem. Houston, have another look at, look at this. Point. The Gold Coast hand knocks the ball forward into the hand of North Queensland. We have a knock on from the Gold Coast. Oh no. Late, late in the review. Niall Williams Guthrie has been pinged for a knock on so late the debutante Shante Kiriaratu took the conversion attempt without. Belinda Sharp knowing she was on her approach as she signalled decision under review. Normally the referee stands right on top yeah. of the ball in front it? of it. Scrum. And scrum. instead of a try to the scrum coast, the it's going to be a scrum. Yep. So time back on the clock. Six minutes left. Go without the clock. Okay, arms over each other. The Roosters. Brandon Smith all laughs, as he was last week, controversial in the eyes of some. Jake Friend now an assistant coach there. Terrell May back for the Roosters this afternoon. You're on the outside, so you don't need to wrestle with her. Just put your heads in. That's next. Roosters on the coast. To play Jim Lenahan's men. Both teams needing a win after a losing sequence. And these conditions are glorious. Taylor made for points. So the Cowboys still leading 6 4. Gold Coast denied a couple of times by the bunker on both sides of the field. The Cowboys have had one go against them as well. So after all that, it stands at one try each.
Harden. Gets the ball away and Dib will surrender in the tackle. Didn't okay, like what you saw on the left. It's been stripped She's by Braley Nati, but after the held call Couple came. Four. Wait. Little Go heads four. up for the Cowboys when it comes to Brittany Braley Nati. She's good at that power. The ball comes free. Long eventually wrapped up. Manselman goes to deep. They'll complete the set, kicking 10 metres their own side of halfway. Down for Minor Sinner Party, the try scorer on Dabu for Gold Coast. She gets just beyond her 30 metre line. So it's Jamie Chapman. She's given us so many highlights during her NRLW career. Not just in the competition for New South Wales as well. Last year's Dalian winger of the year, Jamie Chapman, now in the centres. Hail Kiriaratu. Caitlin Phillips takes a good leg tackle from Long. On the short side, the inside ball is a nice one. Now the pass will have to be picked up by Emily Bass after a couple of bounces. So a stroke of luck there as Gold Coast chants their hand. Bradley Marty, his tall halfback, that kick not as she would have liked, across the ground, backwards in fact. It's picked up by Bent. Fui Mayono, Chapman goes long, Minos in a party! And play will be called back. A forward pass identified earlier in the movement. Play the ball just here. Jamie Chapman, shake of the head. Over here. Getting it just a little bit wrong. It's a warm afternoon after a seven-week pre-season. Back into these halves, players might get a little fatigued. Jamie Chapman, carrying bar born, a Kernel Stingray. Two years as a Dragon, one as a Bronco, and now a Gold Coast Titan for the first time. Harden. Manselman finds Dib. On they go for April Natapuna. And April gets the ball away. Power! Still going. Shania Power. She's explosive and we've seen her score in such fashion. She goes close there. Dib stops and drops. Tries to free the arm and does. Put the ball on the ground for Harden to clean up. Two and a half minutes to the break. Lara Pitt, Joe and Corey with the highlights for you as North Queensland asked some questions here. Manzelman didn't see the play the ball. It's been dived on by Ivania Politi. A horrible mistake by the Cowboys. Gifts possession to Gold Coast. Well, can you believe it? They'd worked hard. They'd found good position. Manzelman was looking at her support players, not the quick play the ball. Is again. And what went wrong there for Emma? Cowboys defence now stepping up, trying to make up for the error. Williams Guthrie taking a heavy tackle. And it continues through the middle of the ground. Lakin Clark proving stubborn in that run. Chapman back at an angle. Big and rangy, bursting through Chapman. And it's Manselman over the top to finish her off. Last play for the Titans, Braley Nati for Fui Mayono. She hangs it in the air for Palata. And trying to return serve Minos in a party. If you've joined us late, a highlight in this first half. China Palata timing an epic shot on Minor Sinapati perfectly. As the winger fielded the ball for the Gold Coast and then fielded some sort of shot from China Palata. Final minute now. Cowboys on opening day. Their first half in NRLW are set to lead after the opening 35 minutes. Buna again, 
Can she provide another offload? There's the answer. And again, it goes through the hands. Out to Long. Not the corner. Effective in promoting some second phase so far. Gibb gets the kick away, leaving Gold Coast with only seconds. Minor Sinapaki. Gets beyond her 30, takes the tackle. And she won't get through the play the ball. So NRLW is back. The first 35 minutes have one try all. The boot, the only difference because North Queensland at the break lead it six points to four. North Queensland six Stay over the Gold Coast four as we get set to start the second half. 35 minutes ahead. Who's going to win game one? It's Shante Kiriaratu with the restart. Oh, and the Cowboys run straight into some treatment, leading the charge. Talia Thuimayono. Yeah, well, the message would have been clear from Karen Murphy at halftime. That would be completing your sets and getting into the game. As for the Cowboys, defensively, absolutely brilliant in what they're able to do and turn up for one another. Well and truly in this game. This is Shelley Long through the middle for North Queensland. It was April Nakapuna leading their go forward off the bench in the first half. Shania, Shania Power, not too far behind. Emma Manzelman, the dummy half here. With six tackle busts. One of the highlight numbers for the Cowboys, Talisha Harden. Always working hard, no matter what team she's in. Kira Dib didn't get that as she would have liked. Goes out near the sideline where it's let go by China Pilata. Where do you want it? Middle? She might have had an opportunity there, China, maybe to catch it and put a double kick on it. Opted to let it go. And she was terrific in the first half for the Cowboys, Kira, Kira Dib. Had a try disallowed, but her guile and guidance and experience, particularly guiding this young team around, was very good. Ready? So the Gold Coast, Lanya Politi led their run metres in the first half. Steph Hancock will look to build on her run metres, another strong carry there, but her fullback, 84 metres, three tackle busts, two offloads. Shannon Martor. Starting front rower, nine carries for more than 70 run metres. And this young player, Shante Kiriaratu, in the halves with Talia Fuimayono. So a loose ball picked up and looked like it was touched in continues. flight there. More go forward for Politi. Tackle count continued. Fuimayono, bench. Shaley's dragged to ground, 15 metres out. Braley Nati through the middle. It's Laker Clark. Still going, Clark. Hey, she's help, 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 help. Hail the captain under pressure, Kiria Ratu. Big tackle from Power. Had to be made. Got up really quickly and importantly so with numbers to the right for the coast where they still look well served instead. Paliti doubles back in front of the ruck, then her pass is oh, kicked nice. by Bradley Nati for Hancock. Bit of improvising there from the Titans and it very nearly worked. Yeah, a bit of World, World Cup just women's hang on, hang on, hang on. soccer has come into it here on the Gold Coast, Maddie. Yeah, 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 the Titans. Bit more Give sprightly in this second half. Step, Hand the ball space. over a metre out from the Cowboys line. And what's the defence going to be like? Hancock was waiting. The reinforcements race up now. And a whistle will bail them out. Looking to show a little bit of redemption there. No, 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 no. They're going no. for the quick tap. One. Well, that's going to be very frustrating for the Titans because ideally they're in good field position. They'd completed a set. They here? could have really had the Cowboys under pressure, but now they're marching them down the end and they're still chasing the lead. Been right in the thick of it, China Pilata. Aggressive ball runner. Likewise defensively. Well, you'd think the Cowboys would be right at home in these warm, sunny conditions. Seven-week pre-season up in Townsville. Lots of uh, hill runs up Castle Hill. I know that's been a big part of what they've done. They've had sailed off the stadium roof. They've done plenty of hard work in hot weather, that's for sure. 
Lucky they didn't have a Castle Hill in Brisbane during your 347 oh. club games, Corey. <laughs> He's dead. Training base was at Red Hill. There's enough there, don't worry about that. That's a big enough hill. We get Castle Hill as Manzelman. They go through the hands of the Cowboys. Sarah Corroy sends it to her left where Power shrugs clear of the tackle. Power still going. She comes to Braley Nardi who makes the tackle and it's tackle five. Manzelman looks right and sends it that way through Harden. And now the kick, Blackwell towards the end goal on the move. Politi needed support on the inside. She lost the ball. And what's the call That's here? Not so knock on Gold Coast, it's North Queensland ball. Yeah, Ivania Politi, that fullback there, if you just see her movements, was way over under the post at the time of the play of the ball, got herself across, cleaned the ball up beautifully, and it was only through Jasmine Peters coming across to dislodge the ball. Otherwise, she was away. And a great opportunity in the early stage of this second half for the Cowboys. It was great work by Jazzy Peters, who used to wear a Titans jersey, but clearly her loyalty is in her new team, and that was really well read and put Pellini under pressure. I dare say if she had got through, that would have been a length of the field try yeah. otherwise. Rugby sevens like. Which was a great exponent. Manzelman whips the pass for Dib, and now running onto the ball, Goldthorpe. Yeah, really well defended there from Bass. Back for the halfback, Dib. On for Corroy. Forced to ground He's under Hancock Wait. and Georgia Hale. And Dib for Blackwell, who takes them on. Help, help, help. Help. Release. The crash play, and the defence is waiting for Talisha Harden. April Nakapuna camps to the left of the ruck. It goes behind April, finding Dib instead. Shania Power. Well, more good goal line defence from the Titans here. Shania couldn't burst through, so Manzeman comes back to Nakapuna now. She'll take some stopping April. Held up. And they've held her up. Big effort, Gold Coast. Yeah, huge effort from the home side, and the Titans been under all sorts of pressure over the last five minutes. And what we saw from the Cowboys in the first half defensively, terrific start here, Georgia Hale. Brit They're able to stop April Nutapurna. She has scored many a try like that close to the line. Chapman with it for the Titans. So, and as Gold Coast work beyond their 20, Lara, what was said at half time? Yeah, Karen Murphy just said the little things weren't going right for her side. They've got to get connected and control the game better. They don't want to lose the two competition points on their home turf. Here we go. Sorry, Lara, there's a break, mate. Talia Fuimayono! She stands up, Goldthorpe, still going Fuimayono, gets the ball away, and Minno Sinapati loses the ball. She was Daddy. set for an NRL double. You double, three. but Minos in a I've party. No the face says it all. No it was Phil Imano. Was able to break open the Cowboys' defence. And Minos in a party. Been over the try line three times this afternoon. Only for one try. Coming into the grounding. Destiny and the desperation Minos in a party knocks the ball on in the end goal from area. the Cowboys the in Blackwell in her debut in the NRLW has come up with a huge play. Well, full credit to the Cowboys. Debutante on debutante, and that was a fantastic desperation tackle. But incredible uh, yeah. lead-up. I know the try wasn't allowed, but we really got a glimpse at what yeah. Fuima Ana can offer a team and the backup. And when it comes, there can be trouble for the opposition. You can see here in the replay, she just cuts the field up. She sort of broke through a few tackles, bit of an offload. And while it hasn't come their way, she straight away turned, consoled yeah. her teammate, and they're back on board. Replay showed Crystal Blackwell's determination brilliantly. Lara, you were rudely interrupted by Talia Fuimayano. Back to you. And just an update on Jamie Chapman. You can see she's got some heavy strapping on her quad. The club just tells us it is a bit of tightness there, but she will still take part in the remainder of this match. Just from Ben Jeffries, he was very animated. He challenged his side to compete. He, th he thought the Titans 
dictated play too much in that first half and he wants to see them play on their own terms. Thank you, Lara. Here's Goldthorpe throwing herself, accelerating into the line. The Leeds Rhino, now a North Queensland Cowboy. Dib, torpedo across the ground. Well played by Minor Sinapati, letting it bounce and it will go over the dead ball line. So back to the 20, a seven tackle set here for the home team. She's a great player to watch, isn't she? Sinapati. Great energy. In her debut, she has been everywhere. She's got great energy, as you mentioned. She's been whacked from pillar to post. She scored a try. She's had a couple disallowed. We talked about different sports earlier, Corey. She's actually got a basketball background, so okay. that's been the, the main sport for her and hasn't long been in rugby league, which really excites me because I know how much she hasn't played and hasn't trained yet, so it's exciting times for her. Oh, that's a shot. Great tackle. A player on the move in Jessica Elliston. Right around the legs. Now Strand Smith, and now it opens up. It opens up for the Gold Coast strike weapon. Avania Paliti gets there and gets it down. The Titans fullback applauded by her bench. It seemed only a matter of time, and that's how it turns out. Varney Paliti gets Gold Coast second. Yeah, one of the best players on the field this afternoon. Varney Paliti's back into the fullback role, tackle busting best. This time just gets on the outside. The Titans have them for numbers here. Martu, who's been terrific, plays out the back to Rato, and then Varni Politi doesn't need much space at all. Pins the ears back, plays back on the inside, gets Goldthorpe on the inside shoulder to get the ball down for the Gold Coast Titans, who have had a completely different look and attitude in the start of this second half. Karen Murphy spoke at the start of the game about how much Varney wants to be at fullback. And I know defensively, if you're against the Titans, when you've got to manage her on both sides of the field, it's so much harder. And you can see here in the replay, the reason she scores tries like this is because she's come from such an elite background. She's an Olympic gold medalist. She's so fit and fast, but continues to work on her own game. And she manages the pressure that she's under by turning up and scoring tries like that when they're needed so desperately. Yeah, it's such an acquisition to have somebody that's played all facets of the game, rugby, rugby union, sevens, and now in the NRLW. We saw her last year. And the transition style football, one of the best. Big, athletic, robust, 77 tackle bus in her short NRLW career coming into this game. Throw in another seven, if you don't mind, Maddie, and 148 run meters. Throw a try on the top of that. And three offloads. And three offloads. She has been outstanding. Well, just to add some more numbers around that, Shante Kiria Ratu lines up the conversion attempt. Last season, she averaged 150 run metres. She's on that mark today. Six tackle busts per game. She's gone past that today. You add the try and the offloads. Avania Paliti, one of the stars to watch through NRLW 23. Kiria Ratu bringing it back. Flags are up. A conversion from the sideline. She's a teenage talent as well. Shante Kiria Ratu converting the try scored by the former Deception Bay Raider. Born Kabucha, Avania Paliti. Good to see you playing rugby league. Such a welcome addition to our game as she walks back. I think we're seeing from the Titans what we've hoped they could produce probably earlier in wait, the game. Here, but wait. I tell you what, the way the Cowboys have showed up this afternoon, Stay on here. it's anybody's game at this stage. Stay on side. About Destiny Mineral Center party on a wing for Gold Coast. Uh, fantastic on Stay the boot. What about the halfback, Shante Kiriaratu, fresh from that Origin under 19s win with Queensland. No nerves for her on opening day either at just 18 years of age. Shante Kiria Ratu. Watched her, watched her come through the BMD Premiership this year, Maddie, and she really stands up in an open competition. She's got quite a calm head on her for, young, for a young girl with not as much experience, and I think that's why at such a young age she can come into the halves in a, in a competition and environment like this, and Karen Murphy will back that because she can stay calm and make good decisions under pressure. Tall and athletic in the headgear, running onto the ball here. Kiriratu straightening into the tackle from Powell, but an offload through Braley Nati. Now Martor goes on for Hale. Are they starting to fall into their groove here, the Titans? 
And then more points just oh. around the corner on no. Talia Fui Mayono pulls up. Has she picked up a calf? An Achilles. That's an Achilles That's from the first look of it, Matty. Yeah. It's either that or a calf. Something's gone pop there with Fui Mayono, who's been a big signing over the preseason, although she's grabbing on the outside of an ankle there. But straight away, she was in an enormous amount of trouble. And if that is, it doesn't look to be an Achilles. Mm. Oh. This could be a big story in yeah. the Gold Coast season. It's always a, a worry. When, it's always a worry when there's an injury with no contact. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that looks definitely to be an Achilles. There was no pressure at all. There was no movement, no standing or turning. Well, Lara will be all over this. A Samoan international and Australian World Cup winner. A New South Wales origin player and Indigenous All-Star and one of the star recruits in a pivotal position. Part of his spine. Talia Fuimayano assisted from the field as a stony-faced Karen Murphy watches on. Lauren Brown back out there. She's played in the halves but is still in that dummy half position for the time being at least in the kick gifts the Cowboys a seven tackle set. Yeah, seven tackle set there with Phil Maono has just left the field. The players around her would know exactly the injury if it is an Achilles. You can actually hear him snap, Matty. And she pulled up straight away. Yeah. No, they just make a pop noise and by her actions, that was definitely what it looked like. That's a horrible element of this game, the opening game, the first of 48 in the NRLW season, as we mentioned at the kickoff, bigger and better than ever, growing from six teams to ten. So five games every weekend over nine regular season rounds on Fox League, then semi-finals and a grand final the at event, Sydney Olympic Park. The advantage of having two hookers and Britt Braley Nardi and also Lauren Brown. Lauren Brown will now go into that half position and Britt will stay in the nine. But that's a long-term injury by the looks of it. That's an awful blow for the Titans. Gold Coast have scored the only try of the second half to come from 6-4 down at the break and lead it by four. Still a long way to go in this contest as the crowd at Seabus Super Stadium grows and Dib goes into the sky, the bright sky on the coast today. It's knocked down and knocked on by China Pilata. Well, it's a challenging time now for the times we've seen to Liam Fuimana go off with an injury, and that can psychologically be really challenging as a side when it's a pivotal player from the spine. What the girls need to do is regroup, trust that Lauren Brown's going to come on and help out and get the job done. If, if there's ever more need for inspiration, it's now, and then they need to do that and make the most of this field position. You talk about inspiration, they go straight to their front row forward, and Mato been outstanding. Brown out of dummy half. Braley Nahi. This is Elliston. Jess has been awkwardly in the tackle. Trying to fight back and find a quick play the ball. Brown for Georgia Hale. Ellie Nahi shows it to Ben, goes to Chapman. Now Minnell's in a party. Pulls up in a run, walks in behind. Chapman still going Minnell's in a party before she's pulled down by Manzelman. He's done some important defensive clean-up work today, Emma. The kick from Brown looks heavy and is. Yeah, once again, the Titans just gifting a seven-tackle set to the Cowboys. Got their In the middle. fifth play options a few times this afternoon. As we've seen across the first five seasons, Joe Barrett, the girls are, are physical, they are willing, they are skillful. The one element where they've really tried to improve is the kicking game. And the general play kicking today hasn't been so hot, has it? Yeah, you're right. And I don't know if that's just, you know, the combination of so many elements for today, but that is an area of the game that's generally improved. But you would expect right. line break, Matty. <laughs> yeah, again, and it's a tackle from behind Minnell Sutton's in a party, bringing Bree Chester down. But you Big would, run. Sorry, Matt, as you were saying, as we were saying earlier, you would expect now with longer pre-seasons, longer competition, more professionalism, better coaching, that you are expecting the players to lift to that standard and be a bit more accurate with their kicking. Now it's put down by Palata again, picked up by Minos in a party, and as referee Sharp yelled out, play on. No, 
another couple of tackle breaks here that Politi takes one, two, three, five to bring it down. <laughs> She's still at the front of front. A strike player she is with ball in hand, Emily Bass. This one we hit the NRL phase of Super Saturday. Gold Coast against the Roosters. Huge game, huge game in the NRL. The Gold Coast up against the Roosters who are looking to find something to salvage out of this year, Matty. The kick goes across the ground where it's taken by Middleton. Yeah, Trent Robinson's men leaving New South Wales for the first time since Magic Round. It must be said it's a magic day for them on the Gold Coast. Is it always this good up here? Always. Always. <laughs> you know that. The Emily, Cowboys. Emily Bass with the trainer down the back play as they look to come down this right-hand side. And McKenzie Wheel tried to wind up there, but she ran into a welcoming Brayley Nati. Then a flat ball is knocked on by North Queensland, picked up by Minor Sinapati. It just seems to be a ball magnet today. Yeah, I don't think she was ready for that, but she nevertheless responded. Chapman almost bursting through. I can't remember a co-commentator being interrupted as many times by a break as you have today, <laughs> Joe Barrett. I think I create them. They're feeling the energy. As soon as I speak, it's shut up. We're going to break the line and do something <laughs> exciting. Chance here for Bass, who's back on her wing now, twisting away from one. She's by power, but back to her feet and going again. Oh, oh. Emily Bass oh. awkwardly lifted, dangerous tackle. It was Mia Middleton, the debutante, getting it wrong. And all care and attention, firstly, for Emily Bass. It was Middleton just up underneath. She just drives down, gets her in an awkward position. The crowd's responding to that one. Well, now we don't differentiate. If that's a tackle made in an NRL game, Corey, what's the result? Well, I think it looks a lot worse than what it actually ended up. I mean, she made contact first and foremost with her shoulder, and what we see there from Belinda Sharp, that, that's sufficient, Matt. That's sufficient. From first glance, it did look you know, pretty bad, but when you watch it again... It happened so quickly. Yep. She's a little bit taller. Bass isn't a tall girl. The responsibility is still on the tackle Absolutely. to be safe, and, and we know that, but it does help you understand the context for Middleton. We've seen some big tackles today, and now an ugly tackle, and Mia takes a 10-minute seat as a result, the 23 Indigenous All-Star. It'll be really interesting to see how the Titans go about in the next 10 minutes. 10-6 ahead on the scoreboard. There's still some concern for Bass, who's laying on the ground and now surrounded by medical personnel. Karen Murphy watching on. We might duck down to Lara Pitt, who has a, an injury update for us. Yeah, just on the Titans 5-8 for Mono, the Titans have ruled out an Achilles injury right now. They're saying it's an ankle problem. So uh, it certainly didn't look good. And we were all, you know, doctors putting our doctor's hats on saying it looked like an Achilles, but the Titans are confident it, it isn't that, in fact. Dr. Well, Parker, you're sacked. Well, that's that's look. terrific news. That's yeah. terrific news for the Titans. Also, for Mahana, as we see Bass escorted from the field. Are you happy to be wrong? Absolutely. He's coming through that not Achilles, which it really did look it like. Did. But, Absolutely it did. Yeah. But now we've got Emily Bass being taken from the field after just initial precautionary testing measures on the ground. And again, Lara, a busy sideline reporter, will go from Talia Fuimaono's ankle injury just to make sure that Emily is only being brought from the field for precautionary reasons, although that right arm, maybe there's a collarbone issue. They're going to activate... The 18th man, are they here, Maddie? An act of dismissible foul play. You can bring in your replacement yeah. player. Yeah. Well, the people. Yeah. Again, another one of these young stars that we saw okay, in the Queensland anyway. under-19s. Lofipo. Yep. 
Oh, for Lafipo, I think it's not a matter of if, but when she's debuting in, at this stage. She captained the Queensland under-19 team. Another terrific talent, very versatile. It was her and Kibiti Aratu in the halves. This is Jessica Elliston. They're close to Titans. Lauren Brown at dummy half. It's Georgia Hale running in behind the ruck. Well handled by the defence. Jasmine Peters it is. Brown, Brittany Nutt there for Chapman. Stand up now. Oh. Titans up by four. Trying to go beyond the converted try. A bouncing ball for Brown. Elliston again. They're sweating on Jess and it's a strong tackle. It has to go right. China Pallata and Blackwell doing the tackling for the Cowboys. They come to the left. Braley Nartin, it's put down by Shaley Bentz. Play the ball. The Cowboys hang on. And with 15 and a half minutes left, this is still game on. Front foot here, girls. Front Once foot. again, I mean, the Titans are playing against a side that is down a player. They can feel the space. They're just coming too lateral too early. As we now see Lauren Brown come out of the tackle with a bit of a concern. More NRLW action to come on Fox Sports this afternoon. Newcastle against St George Illawarra at McDonald Jones Stadium. Brisbane against the Roosters at Sunshine Coast Stadium. Then tomorrow, Eels, Tigers, Sharks, Raiders. The first five games in NRLW 23. The shift by the Cowboys. Finishes five metres short of halfway. In the hands of Shelley Long. Rustrand Smith. So the last play now for North Queensland. It's Kira Dib. Significant underdogs this afternoon, the Cowboys, but they are fighting hard. Halftime leaders. And only down by four. In all a party, they grab her and over the top to finish her off. It's a strong effort. Big effort by the Cowboys. They're coming up in numbers. They chase that kick tremendously well. They're a player down, but they're still scrambling desperately in defence. This is a really good opportunity for the Titans to put some points on, yeah. but they can't let that time tick away. Yeah, the best place to attack a team when they're down a number is right through the middle. Set up right through the middle, then get your split either side. As we saw, Talia Fuimayano, that ankle on ice. So, yeah. Five eighths not out there to try and close out this game. So it'll be runs like that from Elliston and Lofipo about to come on. Activated as the 18th player. Kiria Ratu, her Queensland under 19's teammate putting the kick in. Chester returns the kick. The chase was sound from Gold Coast. And there's work here to do for the Cowboys. Vitalina Nikore out there in 24. Not named in the 17 earlier in the week. Called into the game day team. Peters cramping up. It's a warm afternoon on the Gold Coast. Is it just a cramp? Is it just a cramp? Okay, someone else play the ball in here. Tackle three. <laughs> we don't stop games for cramps. We used to. We used to. And a few players were too clever, weren't they, Corey? And miraculously yeah. discovered cramps in the final couple of minutes yeah. when leading by two. Yeah, un untimely, untimely. Parramatta had a couple of good so ones, didn't they? <laughs> Manson went back into the fray there for the Cowboys. She was terrific in the first half. Real nimble in around the ruck. Provides plenty of spark. A little bit of fatigue with 12 minutes to remain in this match. That's all she's after. Another strong carry by Bree Chester, backed up by Mackenzie Wheel. That's the sort of go forward they want, but they die with the ball. And look at those two plays earlier in the set. To open up a kick at the end, an attacking kick. When you're ready, Shannon. Thanks, Shannon. There's so much to like about what we've seen this afternoon, but coming into this game as Politi now. Gets to the outside and goes back towards oh the middle of the ground. Pania Politi. 
Coming into this game, Matty, there was a lot of talk about the Cowboys and what we were going to see. Well, we've seen some real character. They're down a player at the moment. They're refusing to give up. Williams Guthrie surging onto the ball. Gold Coast trying to go up a gear as they look to put this game away. Shaley Bent. And they come up with an error. I'm challenging it if you want. That's disappointing. I was just about to say, if I'm Georgia. not getting interrupted, I'm making the wrong call, that the Titans were really getting momentum hey, there. They were going forward, Coming quick in play the three. balls, Got a captain's backing challenge each other the Gold Coast. On-field decision is loose carry. What about the performance we've seen from the fullback and the Titans? 191 run metres, 14 tackle breaks. The loose carry by the Gold Coast, the challenge by the Gold Coast is unsuccessful. Big afternoon for Shaley and her Georgia. partner, David Fafita, in our all game 100 to come this afternoon. David spoke emotionally this week about that milestone and all the people who have helped him, including Shaley. First up, Shaley wants to celebrate game one of the new NRLW season with a win. And there's much work to do, 11 and a half minutes left here. Talking to Shaley earlier in the week, lots of family are coming up, obviously, to celebrate the 100th, but equally, in support of her move to the okay. Gold Coast and her first buddy, game. Please. So really exciting right in, night for them and their families. Okay. And let's hope for their sake, they want to go home with a couple of wins. Shut down by Lofipo. Still, well, in this game, the Cowboys, as I mentioned, they have refused to go away all afternoon. Only four points behind in this contest. Just needs somebody to break it open. Here's Pallada. Off Rafstrand Smith, who's really starting to come into the game now. Tiana Rafstrand Smith. Using her size and strength through the middle. Good ball movement, nice and direct from the Cowboys. Rafstrand Smith waits again. They go away from her to dim power. Shania Power still going. Power oh. takes the tackle. Politi. It's a try saver from Varney Politi. Great rugby league. Dib kicks, knocked on Gold Coast. The Cowboys to keep the ball. It's off the leg and then off the hand. Well, Shania Power has previously won Dalian try scorer of the year. She scored a try in the dying minutes of a BMD state final and won it for her side. She is a big game player and I thought for sure she was going in there. Talk about big game players. Have a look who tied her up in Vania Politi has been by far and away the best player on the park. I mentioned some of her numbers before, 14 tackle breaks. Well, you might break tackles, but she's just made one of the most crucial tackles this afternoon. Around this side, Shania around this Power, 13 NRLW games, six tries. Okay, and a try she scored as a Titan stays in the memory, where she beat four, five, six defenders on a surge to the line. It looked like she was going in again. She might yet get another chance. This is Crystal Blackwell. Try to level it up and a conversion to go in front. Bree Chester has been good on debut, the 21 year old. Manzelman is put down by Sarika Muka. It's a knock on. We'll come out here for a scrum. They dropped their chance quite we'll literally for the, the time being. It's still nine minutes to play. We're not done Pop yet. Well, it'll be a tremendous effort to score a try when you're a player down. And um, it looks very much like the Cowboys were about to do that. And they've got about two and a half minutes left if they're going to. But the pressure's slightly off the Titans. They need to capitalise. OK, they've got one left. One. Heads in. The Cowboys need some line oh, speed oh, here oh. to try and generate an error. The safe hands of Jamie Chapman. She gets away from one. And it takes three defenders after that to force her to ground. She's 15 out from the goal line, stopped by China Palata. Brown to Bradley Nati. Two number nines, if you like the two hookers combining there. Brown playing 5 8 with Fuimayono off with that ankle injury. Got a big finish coming up. Your first game this Super Saturday. Next up, NRL Titans Roosters. Then Newcastle, Melbourne. And we finish tonight in North Queensland's Cowboys Parramatta. So the Cowboys start and finish the show. The women up first, the men later tonight. And Gold Coast complete the set. It's awkward. 
Down at the back there for Goldthorpe, and the chase is sound as well. Stand up together. There's still Hold. plenty of time left in this game. There's a little bit of fatigue starting to happen. I mentioned about the character of this Cowboys side. Okay, up, step. And they play the ball Hold. on the 40 metre line. It may just be one of the small, nimble, quick, Manselman-like players that just may break open this Titans defence, who in the second half has been very, very good. Now Blackwell. Lavonia Politi, is she the player to put this game to bed? She's run for more than 200 metres now. The Gold Coast fullback for the time being, it's Manselman. Only six NRLW players have run for more than 200 metres, and Varney has done it three of the six yeah. times. And she's not finished yet. Seven minutes remaining. Really warming. She's trotting into position. Conditions as now Steph Hancock, the experienced 41 years young, Maddie, just getting up over the advantage line. Their team on the front foot. She retired, NRLW, it's like John Farnham. Out of retirement, and she won't go away. But we love that, yeah, Steph already. Hancock, real character of the NRLW, Steph Hancock. Great person to have involved here, Shaley Bent. The ball threatened to get away up over the, the right hand shoulder, but she held on and takes tackle four, 32 metres out. Brown shows it once and instead goes through the football. Down his short side, Barney going to swing. It's after the hell call. Play on. Tap and go is the call. Racing away, the Titans trying to put the game to bed. What a run! Fantastic from Zara Canfield. She saw an opening, she went for it, and Zara Canfield might be the player to put this game to bed. There's some people that hesitate and some that don't, and Canfield, he has come up with a critical try. Penalty give it, didn't wait, bang, straight on the foot. Let go from the play there, comes off the right foot, some fatigue, they've been under all sorts of pressure. A player in the bin, only just returned in the hot conditions, and Canfield has come up with a delightful try. Starting her third season of NRLW, all three with the Gold Coast. It's her second NRLW try, and what smart play. She glanced up at referee Belinda Sharp. Am I right to go? Yes, and off she went. I thought there may be an opportunity, or, or the Titans might have been thinking about taking two points and just getting a converted try, but as I mentioned, those who hesitate, there was none of that from Canfield. No questions asked. So inside the final five, North Queensland still camped on their halftime score where they led 6-4. But second half tries to Melania Politi and now Zara Canfield. What a run. What a big play on your home deck. Giving Lauren Brown this conversion attempt from right in front. She makes no mistake. She kicked seven from 11 last season, Lauren. A good kicker. And she loves taking them from where Zara Canfield scored this try. Corey, have a look at this. Beautiful. Beautiful stuff there. Knew exactly what she was do doing. Game awareness. Had the jump on even her teammates. Wait for the time, Kira. Just a little hint, just a little hint of a bumper bar there on Fran Goldthorpe, which was a talking point at head office during the week. Stay on. I'll just throw that out there and leave it there for the time being as we see the ball taken from Jamie Chapman. And a little bit of, bit of breathing space now for the home side. 16 points to six, four and a half minutes remaining. Shaley Bent, five short of halfway. will be proud this player Georgia Hale part of every NRLW season three years at the Warriors now in her third as a Titan Chapman had to position herself to spin away from China Pilata she's been good defending today China Pilata perhaps the tackle of the game been a couple of bell ringers but none bigger than China Pilata on Destiny Mingles in a party in the first half. Pull, pull. Keep your eye out for that on the highlight reels if you've joined us late. 
Lofipo gets the kick away, allowed to bounce, coming through. Kiriaratu is wrapped up Handover. as she fields the ball. And no, nah. no penalty for the contact on the kicker. Go. No tackles. Still, Gold Coast have the Cowboys where they want them. Only a few good defensive sets away from wrapping up the opening game of NRLW 23. It's back with 10 teams. Over the next 11 weeks, the longest NRLW competition yet will give us a stack of highlights. The Cowboys next weekend, they're off to Belmore Sports Ground against Newcastle. Midday Sunday for the next stop for the Cowboys. Just under it's three minutes left. Can they score another try here and maybe give themselves a chance? They're stealing something late. For the time being, they kick down the ground. It falls for Politi, who's had a giant game and goes wide, where it opened up momentarily for the Titans. It opened up for Williams Guthrie. At the goal line today, Niall Williams Guthrie, only to be pulled back by the bunker. Next up for Gold Coast, they're off to the Gabba on Thursday night against the Broncos, a derby. 5.40 p.m. Eastern on Thursday. Braley Narty, ball to ground, it's in behind Chapman and back to clean up, Ninor Sinapati. So there'll be something for both teams to take out of this game. It looks like Gold Coast is going to take the win as Brown kicks. And brings Goldthorpe onto the ball, but the Cowboys also. Game one in their history, so a big moment for them. And they've done a lot right despite trailing by 10 points. Oh, full credit to the Cowboys. They set the tone this afternoon and their defensive effort was second to none. They weren't intimidated by the strike power of the Titans. And they've in some ways unlucky to come away without the two points. But equally, the Titans have managed some really challenging times and a lot of adversity this afternoon. And it looks pretty comfortably, Matt, like they're going to walk away with a good win to start their season. They look better the longer the game has gone. Gold Coast, big tackle, a few plays back. Canfield and Lofipo showing their intent to close this game out as strongly as possible, even into the final minute now. So they can look up for the Cowboys. A historic day for the North Queensland Club. The NRLW team, a long time in waiting, is here. With a performance to be proud of, nevertheless. Mantleman goes to Dib. She drives it long. Kira's kicking will be an asset for them as this season unfolds. Shantae Kiriaratu, one of the new arrivals, many of them across the 10 clubs this season. If they're all as sound as Shantae Kiriaratu, boy, the game is in good stead. Very much so. I'm really excited, and I hope that the other teams watching are inspired by this as they get ready for their first game. So game one of 48, the seconds ticking away. The Gold Coast Titans in the opening game on opening day the ball into the crowd courtesy Lauren Brown they're home they've come from 6-4 down at half time Karen Murphy embraces her staff and they've won it 16 points to Good six money. Navania Politi was huge for the Titans 17 runs 201 run meters a try 14 tackle busts three offloads she will be a big block for them as they look to build a premiership year. They have the pieces, have come together okay in game one. It's all about building from here. It is for both teams, Matty. I mean, the Titans can walk away quite confident that despite all the unexpected things that popped up for them this afternoon, they adapted and they got away with the win. The Cowboys have come out cracking pace, cracking defence, they've really worked together as a team and I think Ben Jeffries will be really proud and to the eight other teams who are yet to play, I think this has really set the standard for what's going to be the best ever NRL competition in the world for women. Gold Coast score three tries to one, they win it 16-6.